Hey y'all, Mike Dixon here for Excel Bootcamp number four. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit more about formulas and specifically about some functions to get, uh, get us going on some functions. All right, so here's some data. Uh, here we have ID, uh, branch, and years in service. So each of these uh, rows represents an, one individual. Right, an ID, you can think of this as like a social security number, some unique identifier for each individual. Um, the branch of service they're in, and then the number of years uh, they have served in the military. Okay, so we want to ask answer a few things. Uh, over here we want to find the total, total number of service members, the total number of years in service, uh, and the average years in service you know, per uh, individual, and then we also want to figure it out uh, by branch, right? So I want to know the total number uh, in our data set for each branch, the sum of years for each branch, and then the average years in service for each branch. And so that's what we're after in this video. Okay, so a quick way to do these first three things, at least without doing any functions or formulas or anything, uh, is to just highlight all of this data, right? So if you remember, I taught a trick in, uh, in the video number one, where if I use, remember, the control button and hit down with my keyboard, then uh, I can go all the way to the end of my data set. So here at the end of my data set, whoops, I have 875, it looks like, go to the top. Now if I use the shift button, I can highlight things. I'm holding the shift button and hitting down. If I combine those two things, control, shift, down, then I've got all this stuff, uh, all that whole column of data highlighted. All right, so if I do that, I can look over here and it actually gives me some data. So the count 872, sum was 15,223, and the average was 17.45 years. All right, so that's what we're after. Let's do this the same way, uh, sorry, the same thing um, using functions or formulas. So this is a bit of a trick, right? Uh, that you can, you can do if you want the numbers really fast, but if you actually want to capture the numbers um, and you want to go sort of stay updated, then you need to write some formulas, or more specifically, some functions, right? So what are functions? So actually, there's this little button right here, this little FX button that says insert function. You can play with this. I don't ever do this, but if I click on this, it gives you sort of most recent, this is my most recently used functions. Uh, there's all these different types of functions, right? So here's all functions. Uh, you can see financial functions. Uh, over here, we have date time functions, statistical functions, whoops. Uh, all kinds of things, right? So what are these functions? So these functions are essentially just sort of a black box, some kind of algorithm or formula that someone has already written, well, Excel has already written, where if you feed it some numbers or some data or something, it will give you something else, right? So you say, here's what I want, and then it does something, and then gives it back, right? So the first ones we're going to learn are like count and sum and average. That's all we're going to do in this video, essentially, uh, where we're just going to give it this data right here. It's going to count how many times... Uh, how many just sort of how many things that are there? It's going to sum how many things that are there, and then it's going to take the average of all these things, right? So how do I do this? So if I type equal, just like any other formula, and then count is the first one that we're after, and then I put this little parenthesis, this little bracket. Uh, so the total number of years, total number of service members is what we're after. So we want to count how many sort of people are in in, uh, in this data set. All right. So this uh, this function. Any function gives you this little box right here that says, all right, you typed in count and you put a bracket. That means you you want a function. And here's what you need in order to use to, uh, what, what I need as a function in order to give you the answer. Right? So in this case, it just needs a bunch of values. Value 1, value 2. Right, so I can click on these things and type comma. Right, So comma separates everything that it wants in there. Comma, this one. Comma, comma. If I keep doing this, it'll take me forever. Right, But this is what is essentially what it's wanting. Or you can do it another way. I right, delete all that. Uh, I can just uh, click on something, hold the mouse button down and drag, hold the mouse button down and drag it. As I do, you can see that uh, I get this one big box around it. So instead of individuals, I get a box. And it looks something like this, C4 colon C12. What does that mean? It means it goes from C4 to C12, everything inside that. All right, just count everything in there. So that's great. So instead of using my mouse, I can do the same thing with the Control Shift Down button, right? So just in one, you know, quick step, I've actually been able to highlight everything all the way down to 875. Hit Enter. There we go. 872. So I can do the same thing with the total number of years in service. So this, remember, this is the number of service members. So this is just counting how many people in my data set. 
Now I want to know this sum. So before I was just counting. So this would count as 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I want to count. I want to say 10 plus 12 plus 2 plus 5. All right, so I could, well, last time we learned, we could just do something like this. 10 plus 12 plus 2 plus 5. So I'd have to do this 872 times. Right, really boring. Uh, so a better way to do this is this function sum. Right? So sum works just like count. It just wants a whole bunch of numbers. So we already know how to do this. If I click here, control shift down and hit enter, go up here. It will then sum um, all those values, all right? So 15,223, which is exactly what we wanted before. Finally, let's do it one more time with this function called average. Average, all right, so same thing. It just wants a bunch of numbers. Control shift down, hit enter. There's the average, 17.45, very cool. So that's a function. So let's talk a little bit about maybe uh, a little bit more complicated functions, not too much. Uh, I want to count how many times I see Army, how many times I see Navy, how many times I see Marines and Air Force, right? So that's what this is, what we call a count if function. So I can say count, and then uh, if I type count, you can see that there's actually quite a few different counts, right? So count A, like we can sort of go down here, it says counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. So count will only work for uh, numbers, right? So if I did this with under branch, if I tried to count branch, uh, it would it would come up with zero. But if I used count a, it would still it would still work, right? Because it'll work even if it's not a number. Count blanks counts the number of empty cells in the specified range of cells. Count if count the condition number of cells with a range that meet a given condition. And then count if s count uh, the number of cells specified by a given set of conditions, right? So if there's more than one condition, we're just going to do this count if function. So you know, I can use my mouse, or sorry, my uh, keyboard to come down here. If, if this is the one I want to hit tab, and then it automatically just selects it and puts that first bracket. Right, so here it gives me two different different things it wants. It wants a range, and then a comma. See the comma? You have to type the comma, and then a criteria. So what is criteria? It means this is counting if, right? So I'm saying I want to count, uh, you know, how many times I see army. Is essentially what I'm saying. So here we go. Here's count. Uh, count my range is going to be all of these branches, right? I'm going to hit F4 to lock that in, right? Because I'm going to copy. I'm just going to do this once and paste it down. I'll show you in a minute. And then, so remember, this was the last video. Um, I want to uh, sometimes lock things, and I want to lock this range in because if I don't. The whole range will shift down every time I copy and paste it, which will mean the ones on the very top won't be counted, and that might screw things up. So I'm going to make sure it stays the same. Comma, and then the criteria. So in this case, the criteria will just be army, right? So what does this mean? It's going to go look in this range, and every time it sees whatever's in this sort of criteria, it will count that, right? So we'll count how many times it sees army. So I hit enter. It sees army 336 times. Now we can use my little trick. Once I have this set up, this is the way I do. I can just double click on the little button right there, and it's now done it for Navy, Marines, and Air Force. Right? No problem. So this is uh, that's, this is pretty cool, right? So it's just doing the same thing. Hit F2. So it's counting. And remember, this didn't get moved down because I put the the dollar signs and made absolute value, but it's just counting how many times it sees Air Force. Here's Marines. Here's Navy. So if I sum all of those four numbers up, it should be the same as this number up above. Here's a little trick. If I want to do sum, just like I'm just about to do, and I want to sum something right above uh, above it, there's a shortcut for that. If I type alt equal, it automatically just figures out, oh, there's some numbers in, uh, on top, you know, uh, above where you're typing this, and it will just sum up to the top of those numbers. So look, look, how cool is that, right? So I didn't have to even do anything. So there's something wrong here. <laughs> Let's try it again. Alt equals sum. Hmm. I wonder what I'm doing wrong here. Do I have something else in here? Oh, you know what? I got this one that's called Air Force. It's not quite Air Force. Let's try this. Air, Air Force. Oops, this is what I get for making up my own data. Air Force. See, some of them are spelled Air Space Capital Force, and others of them are spelled like this. So we actually learned this in another video. Let's do it this way. Highlight all of this stuff. Say Control H for replace. Find and replace. Type in Air Force and replace with what? Air Space Force, right? And we'll just go and replace all of them. So we say replace all. Oh, there's only that one. Hmm. All right, let's see. Close. 
that going to fix it? Yep, that fixed it. So this is total. 872. All right, so that crisis averted. <laughs> all right, so remember, alt equal will just sum right above. So very cool. That, that comes up handy sometimes. All right, so the sum of years in service. So there's a similar function called sum if, all right, just like count if. This one, though, has uh, a couple of different, um, uh, an extra uh, criteria. Uh, some range of what, what, what essentially it's doing. So here's the range, here's the criteria, just like count if, and then it says, well, is there something else you want me to sum? Because there actually is, right? So in this case, I want to go f look into this column and find army. Every time it finds army, I want you to, to sum up what's in this column. So that's what I mean. So my first range will be this branch, right? So control shift down, comma, the criteria <coughs> is, uh, oh, is over here. In the, I just want to look for army. Uh, and then hit comma again. And then what's the sum range? Well, that's the years in service. So control shift down. Now, before I hit enter, I realized already, um, whoops, I hit enter, it didn't mean to, is that I need to hit F4 uh, on, uh, on both of these ranges, right? So if I don't, this is what's going to happen. I'll show you. If I face that down, what will happen? So these whole things get shifted down. Right? So that's why I care about, and so this first one won't be counted, which isn't a big deal because it's actually Army. But what if it was Navy? Right? Who, who knows what it is? Then I'm going to actually have the wrong answer. So how do I do this? If I hit F2, I can go over here and hit F4, 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 and F4. So every time I'm just using the arrow key to sort of navigate over, or I could have used the mouse right, to click inside of these cells to click F4. This one I don't want to be uh, to be locked because I want it to be moved down every time, right? All right, so let's copy that down, and then I can do the same thing, Alt equal, and see is that the same? Fifteen two two three. Yep, that's the same. So here's the years of service by branch. So finally, the average years of service. So just the same average uh, if there it is, average if. So this is the same as the sum if I have sort of this range criteria and then the average range. One more practice. So here's my range. Is the branch control shift down F4 to lock that in, comma. I want to count the branch right there, comma, and then the average range is the years in service. Control shift down F4 to lock that in. Close the bracket. Hit enter. Okay. Then I can come over here and use my little trick. Copy that down. All right. So what does that mean? It looks like the Marines, we only have eight years, average eight years of service, uh, Army 2017 and 18 in Air Force. Okay, so it doesn't make much sense to sum these up. That won't give us the uh, sum of the average years in service, uh, right? Because if summing a bunch of averages won't give us the, so the, the total average. All right, so that's the introduction to functions. Hopefully that helps. We're going to do a few more functions in this series, but likely you'll learn most of your functions in specific classes that you're going to use. Uh, and, or just as time goes. Uh, all right, so that's it.